Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me, everybody? Hello, hello, hello. Is anybody there? Good evening, everyone. Okay, I know that today we are going to have some listeners because I know some people are sick. I really hope you get better soon, everyone. So the others, welcome to the class. Welcome, welcome. How are you tonight? How do you feel? Uh-huh. Hello. Uh-huh. Is anybody there? Hello. Hey, hello, Jamie. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks, teacher. <laughs> Excellent. How about you? <laughs> so far, so good with a little hot here in my city, but that's as always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. How was your day? It, it has been cold too. Okay. Any plans but for the always, weekend? Oh, no one. Eh, eh, no one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So remember, everyone, yes. that you will have a very long weekend. Yes, the next week. <laughs> so, any plans? Uh, maybe I. I. I hope I I hope to go to the mountain. Ah, but sounds good. It's, it's no, it's no, it's not sure. <laughs> it's not sure we are planning. Ah, okay, all right. But it sounds like a good plan. Very good. I hope you can go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <You too. laughs> Very good. All right. Hello, anyone else? I can see who else is there. I can see Isabel. Hello, Isabel. How are you? Hello. Good evening, teacher. How do you feel? I feel good. Thank okay. you. Excellent. Any plans for this weekend? Yeah, maybe I go out with, uh, with my family. Nice, very good. How about for the holidays? Do you yes, have any plans? I, I I enjoy the holiday. I go to the beach. Ah, <laughs> very good. Sounds good. Sounds like a good plan. Very good, very yes. good. So remember One, everyone? Uh-huh. Once I have um, a year. Once a year. Yes, you deserve it. I hope you can relax, everyone. You can rest during that week. So remember, if you have a little free time, please try to study a little bit English, okay? I don't yes, want you yeah. to go back next week and you say, I don't remember anything, everyone, please, okay? So we are going to start today Um. Remember, everyone, if you will be listener, you have to write the word listener. And the rest of you, I assume that you are ready to participate. And please don't forget, I want to see cameras on, okay? Because with your camera on, you are telling me that you are ready to participate, that you are active here in the class, okay? Now, Today it's Friday, all right? The last day of this week. And then we will have a very long week. So remember everybody, next week we are no longer uh, to have classes, okay? So we are going to rest for one week. So basically we come back until Monday 10, okay? 
that's what we are going to do. Um, let's see. I'm going to share with you the platform. And I'm going to share with you how you are working on it. Um, some of you already advanced in the week number two are about to finish, so that's great. Okay, look, here we are. So far, so good. Some of you haven't finished the week number one. You have to work on it. Look, some of you are about to finish. Some of you already finished. That's great. Excellent job. Very good, very good. I know that there are some topics in the week number two that we haven't studied yet. So today we are going to have a, and we are going to study some of the topics that are missing. And remember that we have the exam in the week number two. Some of you already made, uh, already did the exam and got a very good score. I like that. Um, as I mentioned some days ago, I will give you the chance to a. Uh, take the exam later, because remember that there are some topics that we haven't studied yet, right? So that's why I told you before that you can take it later, all right? You can try to, if you want, today we're going to check a topic that is missing, but still the a week after vacation, we are going to see some of the missing topic of the unit number two. Okay, so if you want to take the exam during vacation, you can do it or until Monday next week or Tuesday because that is the day that we are going to finish the topics, okay? So if you had a little or like a very low score, you can try to take it again and try to improve your score, okay? Because remember that the idea is to get at least 80%. That's like the minimum score, okay? Now, we are going to start. I'm going to share the presentation. I can see very few people with the camera on, everyone. Remember, that's one of the rules. So I want you to see with the camera on, please. Hello, now teacher. Hello, how are I'm you? Driving. Good, good. I'm driving right right now. That is because I don't um, own my camera. All right. I understand. No problem. Thank you for telling me. Okay. So if you are driving, I mean, I, I totally understand, right? If you are sick and you will be listener, it's all right. I totally understand. No worries. But if you are not sick, if you are at home, so keep the camera on, please. The other exceptions, it's all right. Now, can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes? Excellent. Yes, yes. So today is March 31st. We are finishing the week and we are finishing a month. All right? So... Basically, we are going to finish the week number two. There are some topics that we need to continue studying in the unit number two. This is the topic that we are going to study today. How to use enough. So if you remember, we have been studying quantifiers. All right, so today we are going to study a new quantifier and the quantifier is enough. Enough can modify a verb, a noun, an adjective, but we are going to study this one, how to modify an adjective. Later, we are going to study how to modify a noun. Okay, but let's start with the adjectives. This is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading. Me, teacher? Yes, please. Okay, how to use enough, enough to modify adjectives. Class objective, use correctly the verb enough. Enough, no, enough, sorry, to modify adjectives. 
thank you. So pay attention here. Enough is an enough. is an adverb. adverb. Exactly. And we are going to use it to modify adjectives. Okay, that's what we are going to study today. Today we are going to have a lot of practice. So don't sleep. You have to be up. Okay. If you remember yesterday, we were talking about pricing strategies and there was an activity that not everybody could present it. I think that only team number one did it. So let's continue with this presentation. I'm going to ask to the team number two. So everybody keep ready the information, please. In the team number two, I had, let's see, I had Jamie, I had Lucy, I had Nelson and Rosalina, right? So let's see how many members of that team I have. I only have Jamie, Lucy is driving, uh, Rosalina, I think Rosalina is not here. I, I don't see her. Uh, Nelson, 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 yes, Nelson is here. So I'm going to ask, let's start with Jamie. Jamie, what is the product? What is the name of the product? Uh, it's, it's a product of, from Salud brand, Meal of Salud. Ah, okay. So describe it. What are you selling? Uh, a kind of meal that contains protein and Vita, vita, vitamin. Vitamins? Vitamins. Vitamins. And chocolate. And, and, and chocolate. <laughs> um, and chocolate. It has chocolate. And chocolate. And ah, chocolate. Yeah. okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, let's see. Who else? Another member of the team. Well, Nelson is listener. Oh my gosh. I don't have another member from that team. So Jamie, you have to answer because your classmates cannot talk in this moment. So um, yeah. I can help Jamie for the answer. Oh, perfect. Excellent. So tell me, who are you selling to? Okay. And um, this product is focused for kids and teenagers. It's a dairy product, and that is because and we produce a product with um, proteins, carbohydrates, and vitamins. That is uh, the, the focus from kids and young people. Ah, very good. So that is the value that you are offering. Yes. All right, I liked it. Okay, Jamie, how will you distribute your product? Uh, to use a uh, retail store, like, for example, gas station, market, uh, supermarket. And that's all. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. And the last question, Lucy, how will you price your product? And um, the price is relative on the presentation of the product. We have a uh, different presentations. Um this is for the type of uh, manufacturing. All right, okay, very good. Thank you, Tim, very good job, I liked it. All right, let's move on to the team number three. In the team number three, I had, well, it says Carlos, Fatima, Holman, Mirna, Pamela, and Selvin. So I have a lot of listeners in this 
team two. Hmm. So let's start with Mirna. <laughs> but let's see, Mirna, I think that you are the only one for this team. <laughs> Your okay, classmates, try <laughs> yeah, you have to because your classmates are not here. Okay, so what are you selling? We're selling boquitas Diana. <laughs> okay. Yes, boquitas Diana is a snack uh, for every day, any time that you can you can eat um, a snack or candies or cookies. All right. Like a snack. Yes, Sounds it's good. like a snack. Mm -hmm. And and who are you selling to? Um, the the selling to is for all people that that I want the product: kids, teenagers, adults, family members. Yeah, for every every. Okay, so what value do you provide to your customers? Uh, the value that we provide is the variety and different flavors. For example, sweet, salad, bitter, sweet, spicy. We have a variety that the flavor. Ah, sounds mm -hmm. interesting. Very good. But how will you distribute your product? Yes, we will distribute uh, our products in retail stores, supermarkets, um, gas station. You can find in gas station, convenience store, dollar store, in retail store. Nice. And mm -hmm. how would you price it? Uh, the price the the product is per unit. You can buy, you can find per unit and the different sites. A small, medium, and big size, and and you can buy um, in half dozen or dozen or um, or in packaging for three or for four depends of the of the 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 promotion that we have. All right, very good. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Mirna. Very good job. So remember, everyone, the idea for that activity is to be able to express our ideas, to analyze, all right? Not only to have a script and read it. No, I want you to be able to express your ideas. Now, let's start with the topics that we have for today. But before that, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, if you listen to your names, say present. Um, Carlos Abreu. Okay. Christian Alexander. Um, Christian Alexander, no. Oh, okay. You are a listener. All right. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, give me a moment. Um, Erika Yasmin. Oh, it's listener too, I guess. Um, uh, Fatima Denise. Fatima Denise. No. Okay, be careful with the microphones, everyone. Let's see, Gabriel Beltran. Okay. Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Very good. Isabel Hernandez. Present miss. Very good. Ivan Guzman. Present. Okay, Present. very good. Jamie Raquel. Present teacher. Very good. Holman Saul. Oh, his listener too. Lucy Natalie. Present teacher. Very good. Magdaleno Escalante. Present teacher. Very good. Nelson Antonio. Okay. Oscar Armando. 
Oscar Armando, Pamela Carolina, ok, um, Rosalina Alvarado. Sorry, teacher, present. Ah, ok, thank you, Oscar. Rosalina Alvarado, no. Selvin Adonai, ok, and Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Excellent. Okay, everyone, we are going to check the topic that we had for today. Um, give me a second. I just need to improve my connection. Can you hear me very well, everyone? Yes. Can, yes? Yes. 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 All right. Yes. Yeah, I think that my connection was a little bit slow. I'm trying to improve in it. Okay. I'm going to share the presentation again. Can everybody see? Yes. Can you see the presentation? Okay, can you hear me? I don't know if my connection is, is low. Can you hear me, everyone? Yes, now, yes. yes. Yeah, give me a second. Give me a second. It's, it's a little bit slow. I cannot hear you very well. One moment, please. Okay, I think it's good. All right, can you hear me, everyone? Yes? Yes. Great, excellent. Yes, we can. Very good. Okay, can everybody see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Ah, very good. Excellent. Okay, we are going to study enough. So, hmm, what is the meaning of enough? If you have your manuals in the page 20, we are going to check this topic. Okay, so let's go to the manual. And first, let's see what is the meaning of enough. So I'm going to need a volunteer for reading, please. What is the meaning of enough? Uh -huh. Volunteer for reading? What is the meaning? Me enough. Yes. Enough as an adverb means to the necessary degree. Very good. So that is something that you have to memorize. Enough is when you have something that's is necessary. For example, when you are drinking water, right? And you drink all the water that you need it. That means enough, okay? Not too much, not too little. It's basically exactly the amount that you need. That is the meaning of enough. So how can we use it? Look at this. Enough follows the adjectives. That means that in a sentence, first is the adjective and then is the word enough. We can use it in positive or negative sentences. Okay? So let's see some examples. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the first example. Could I try? Okay, I don't know who said first, <laughs> but go ahead, read it. He is. Who? Okay, let's start you, Magdaleno. I guess Ivan is was the one, right? Okay, I will take the number one. Okay, go ahead. If you if you let me. Of course, of course. go ahead. Uh, the look of the look of your online course front page is not professional enough. Thank you. So look at this. This sentence is affirmative or negative. What do you think? It's negative. My totally. negative. Very negative. good. So look at the position. If you have a negative sentence, we got negative. What do we have next? Adjective. 
the adjective. No adjective. And at the end, I have the word enough. That is the position that you need to follow. <clears throat> okay? Now, I need a volunteer, please, for reading the second example. Only one, please. My gosh. Thank you, Hector. Go ahead. The package is user friendly now. Very good. Thank you. Look at this. Is affirmative or negative this sentence? It's affirmative. It's affirmative. Great job. So look, I have the adjective. And what do I have next? The mm -hmm. adverb. So if you are modifying an adjective, that's the position that you need to follow. First is the adjective, and then is enough. If you say, for example, ah, the package is enough, use and friendly, mm -mm, that's not correct. First is the adjective. Let's see the third example. Volunteer for reading, please. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Their product design is more competitive enough for a high end market. Very good. Again, look, if we have negative sentences, no problem. We can use it. And the structure is the same. First the adjective, then the word enough. Very good. The last example, please, volunteer for reading. Uh -huh. Okay, Magdaleno, go ahead. Okay. Um, okay. Our after sales, our after service, uh, our after sales service are good enough to improve the positioning of our products. Excellent, very good. So look, first is the adjective and then the word enough. So this topic is very simple. First, you need to memorize. What is the meaning of enough? It means to the necessary degree, the necessary amount. If you have an adjective, First is the adjective, and then is the word enough. In few words, look at this box. Here we got an example. If it is a affirmative, he is tall enough. Adjective, and then the word enough. He's tall enough to reach the top shelf. If it is in negative, it's exactly the same. The position doesn't change. You just need to add the negative word. He's not tall enough to reach the top shelf. Is it clear, everybody, how we can use this enough word? Is it clear? Yes? Yes. 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 Excellent. Yes, Very good. Sure it's clear. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, let's do a practice. I have here different sentences and I have here some adjectives in brackets. So I want you to complete the sentence using the adjective and the word enough. For example, in the first one, my old car is too slow. It isn't, hmm, what would be the sentence? Can I say fast enough? or it isn't enough fast. What is the correct one? Fast enough. Fast enough. Ah, very good. So it isn't fast enough. Very good. How about the number two? Look at in the number two is a question, but the order doesn't change. So what will be the sentence? Uh huh. It is an old world. 
to go to the beach today? Okay. Is it enough warm? Are you sure? I think it's sure. <laughs> All right. The rest of you, do you agree? Is it enough warm? Yes or no? I don't know. Maybe it is warm enough to go to the beach today. Ah, okay. Remember, first is the adjective and then is the noun. Okay, that is the rule. First is the adjective all the time. And then we're going to write the word enough. Okay, very good. Number three is in negative. I'm not, what do you think? Strong enough or enough strong? Strong enough. Strong, strong enough. Good job. I'm not strong enough to open this box. Very good job. Okay, next sentence. Volunteer, please. Is your tea sweet enough? All right, that is the correct one. If you see, adjective and then the word enough. Next one, volunteer. I don't. I don't. Yes, continue. Continue, please. I don't feel. I don't feel well enough. Well. Aha. Uh -huh. no. <laughs> I don't feel well enough no. to go to school today. Very good. So some of your classmates, told, uh, you can send me a message on WhatsApp when you feel sick and you can say, teacher, tonight, I don't feel well enough to participate. Ah, you see, your message sounds much better. All right, so try to apply the vocabulary. Okay, the last one, is the room, hmm. What do you think? Bright enough. Bright enough, very good, excellent. So, as simple as that, everyone. If you see, the only rule that you have to remember is, if you are using adjective, first is the adjective and then the word enough. That's it. Be careful. In this moment, we are just using adjectives, but we can also use nouns. If you use nouns, the rule is different, but that is a topic that we are going to check the week after vacation, okay? So in this moment, just remember, if you have an adjective, the adjective goes first and then the word enough. Is it clear? Yes? yes. Any questions so far? It's clear, I don't have questions. Very good. Everybody, nobody has questions? No? Teacher. Yes? No. No questions? Clear. Excellent. Very good. Okay. If you don't have questions, let's do a practice. I have here um, some brands. Do you know these brands? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Ah, very good. So look, I want you to tell me some sentences describing these brands, but I want you to use the structure adjective plus enough, okay? This is going to be a written practice. So for example, LG, hmm, what kind of sentences can we say about LG? What characteristics? describes this brand. Is it pricey or is it affordable? Um, hey. Is it, uh-huh. Not popular enough, teacher? Very good, so we can see. Look at this, LG, 
um, let's see, is in this case, he said a negative sentence. So we can say, LG is not popular enough. Look, I have one sentence. No. Mm -hmm. Perfectly. So listen, I want you to write two sentences per brand. So two sentences uh, for LG, two sentences for Expedia, well, Sony Expedia, two sentences per Apple. Well, in this case, it's specifically talking about the iPhone and two sentences about Samsung. You can use affirmatives or negatives, the ones that you prefer. Just remember, first is the adjective and then is the word enough. Try to use the vocabulary that we have been studying in the class. Try to use those adjectives. Remember, remember, you can use pricey, reliable, helpful, luxury, elegant, stylish, all the adjectives that we have been studying in the class. Try to use them. Now, pay attention. When you finish, when you finish to write the sentences, you have to take a screenshot, okay? And then screenshot, send it on WhatsApp's group, okay? Is it clear, everybody? Yes? Se entiende la activity? Yes, is it clear? Teacher, excuse me, could you go back with the presentation for take a screenshot? For... I'm going, yes, I'm, I'm going to send a link, everybody. Okay, no okay. worries. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No worries. I'm going to send a link, open the link, complete the exercise. I'm going to send the link on WhatsApp group. And also I'm sending it here in the chat of Zoom. Open the link, write the sentences, and when you finish the sentences, take a screenshot, okay, and send it on WhatsApp's group, okay? For this activity, I'm going to give you 10 minutes because there are many sentences that you have to write. So you have 10 minutes to write two sentences per each brand okay you have to follow the structure adjective plus enough remember you can use affirmative sentences or negative sentences extra points if you use the um, vocabulary that we have been studying in the class okay go ahead everybody let's start if you have questions, let me know, please. And remember, I'm going to check spellings. So write correctly every single word, please. Be careful with the spelling. Complete the exercise, everyone. If you have a question, just let me know. Do you have 10 minutes?
Remember, I want you to use the vocabulary, please. Try to use the adjectives that we have been studying. Don't forget at the end, take a screenshot and send it on WhatsApp's group, okay? Go ahead, if you have a question or if you need help, just let me know. Be careful with the spelling, everyone. Remember that this is a written practice, so be careful with the spelling. In English, one letter is wrong. The meaning of the sentence can change totally. Okay, so be careful with the spelling. Okay, everyone, you have five more minutes. Don't forget, when you finish, take a screenshot and send it on WhatsApp's group, okay? And we are going to check the answers. I'm going to check the sentences that you send. Don't forget to follow the correct structure. First is the adjective, then is the word enough. You can write affirmative or negative, negative sentences. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Teacher. Yes. I write in on, on my notebook. Can I uh, uh, write on the on the chat or, or or can I take a pic and send? Uh, you can take a picture and send it. Okay. Yeah. 
Thank you. No worries. Okay, I can see some of you already finished. Very good. Just remember, we need to have two sentences per each one. Remember to follow the structure, everyone. We need adjective and then the word enough, okay? Adjective and then the word enough. So if you don't write an adjective, so the sentence is not complete, okay? So be careful with that. Don't forget to take a screenshot and send it on WhatsApp's group, everyone. I want to check all the answers that you, all the sentences that you write. Follow the structure, adjective, and then the word enough. Some of your classmates already finished. We are going to check the answers. One more minute. Okay, time's up everyone. 10 minutes already passed. So send your answers, please. I'm checking and reading some of the sentences that some of your classmates send. Nice sentences, I like that. Just remember, follow the structure, adjective, and then the word enough, okay? So everybody send it, please. Super good because I'm reading some sentences and some of you are using the vocabulary. So that's great. I like that. Remember, the idea is to use the vocabulary, so we got to learn it. Very good. Okay, I can see some of your classmates already finished. Very good. So for the ones who hasn't finished, send the sentences, please. Go ahead, go ahead.
If you have a question, just let me know, please. So we are going to check some of the answers that your classmates send and help me to decide if the sentences are correct or not, okay? Let's verify. I'm going to open some sentences. Okay, so let's see. Can you see what I'm sharing, everyone? Yes? Look at these sentences. LG is not popular enough. Very good. The sentence is in negative. Then we have the adjective and then the word enough. Perfect. LG is not fast enough. Totally correct. Very good. Sunny Expedia not have high quality enough. Hmm, so can I say this? Sonia Expedia not have? What do you think? Can I say that? Not have? It doesn't have. Ah, very good. Don't forget the vocabulary using correctly the auxiliaries. In this case, remember, if you have the verb to be, perfect. You just need to add the word not. But if you have a different verb, so in that case, you need the auxiliary. So Sony Expedia doesn't have. That will be the correct one. Okay, be careful with that. Um, the camera of iPhone is good enough. Mm -hmm. The battery of iPhones is not high quality enough. Mm, sounds good. Instead of is not, it will be better like doesn't have. The battery of um, iPhones doesn't have high quality enough, okay? But so far so good, I like these ones. Let's see another sentences that your classmates send. Let's see. Um, LG is not modern enough. Yeah, I like that. Cell phones are not stylish. Very good, you're using the vocabulary. I like that. Sunny is elegant enough. Hmm, is high end enough. I like it, you're using vocabulary. I don't like iPhone enough to buy it. Okay, this is a nice sentence, but what happens here? If you see, do I have an adjective in this sentence? I don't like iPhone enough. What do you think? No. Do I have an adjective? No. Not really. It's, it's bad. No. It's a it's a verb. Verb. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't I just have a verb. So be careful. Later we are going to see how to use enough with a noun. But in this moment, it's just with an adjective. So in this case, we don't have an adjective. iPhone is pricey enough. That sentence is correct. Samsung is functional enough. It's not elegant enough. Excellent job. So super good because he's using the vocabulary. Just remember everyone, we need to use adjectives, okay? So, I'm reading and I'm going to finish reading all the sentences that you sent. So the main rule is that you have to head an adjective and then you have to put the word enough. Clear, everybody? How did you feel writing? Writing is easy or difficult for you? What do you think? Uh huh. Okay, everybody, let's talk. I know that you may be <laughs> tired. I know it's Friday. I know some of you are sick. You are like that meme. <laughs> un pie en la clase y el otro en vacations, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yo creo que están más como un dedito en la clase y a todo el body in the holidays. I know, but listen, everyone. Please wake up. <laughs> 
Miss. The idea is that you talk. Yo no Miss. quiero hablar mucho. Ustedes tienen que hablar. Yes, Rosalina. Okay. For me, the exercise, mm -hmm. I, I don't know, but I, I, talk, I told you about, I don't like more the grammar. Then it's hard for me, the construction, the sentences. But in that case, after the explanation, explanation, mm -hmm. not, Ex explanation, I'm trying to make that. Very I, good. I say, I, I feel nerves. Because uh, uh, when you say, send me in the sentences, no way, I don't know, but, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I send that because I learn it, no? And you, that's, that's the idea. Listen, I ask you to send the exercises, the sentences, because I want to read them. Not because, guys, I'm not going to punish you. You will have, uh, Tres hinchazos per each mistake. Nah, come yeah. on, right? Remember, the idea is to get a feedback. Si yo estoy viendo que la mayoría se equivocó al escribir, for example, el auxiliary. Digamos que nadie usó auxiliary. So, ¿qué me da entender eso? Que ese es un tema que hay que volverlo a repasar. ¿Por qué? Porque es un, un mistake en común que ustedes tienen. Si yo veo que la mayoría me escribió mal la palabra expensive, for example, ¿qué hay que hacer? Hacer una practice en la que volvamos a ver la palabra expensive. Si yo estoy viendo que la mayoría se equivoca en el uso de las terceras personas y en lugar de decir LG has, me están poniendo LG have, what does it mean? Ah, hay que hacer, hay que tomarnos unos minutos de la clase and we need to review the third person in simple present. So, when I ask you to send the sentences, the written exercises, it's just to analyze the team. I want to see if you understood the topic. I want to see your spelling because that is important too. On the platform, Um, some of you had issues because sometimes one letter is wrong. So the platform take it as incorrect, okay? So don't be afraid to make mistakes here in the class because that's the idea to learn here. And I want you to practice all the English skills, not only speaking, but also listening, writing, and reading. The idea is to practice everything and improve in all the areas, okay? And don't cry. <laughs> Come on, Ivan. My goodness. <laughs> all right. But look. Um, don't give up, okay? Así que let's participate. Everybody, wake up. Así que desde ahorita en adelante, cuando haga questions or I need volunteers, I want to everybody participate, please. Okay, if you haven't finished, send the exercise, please. And I'm going to review all the sentences. Now, we're going to see another quantifier that is very, very common and is the quantifier two. This word has different meanings depending on the context. For example, if I say, I like pizza. I, me too. What is the meaning in that sentence? Me también. Exactly. exactly. So in one scenario, two, it means también, right? But in this scenario that we are going to study today, two is not going to mean también. No, it has another meaning. Two means, look, more than what is needed. So look at the first sentence. Is too hot. What do you think? What would be the translation? Is too hot. Demasiado caliente. Ah, very good. This is demasiado. That means more than what is needed. 
Okay. Another example. I was driving too fast. What would be the translation? Too fast. Uh -huh. Demasiado rápido. Good. Demasiado rápido. Good job. Exactly. Now, pay driving. attention. <laughs> so don't drive too fast, please, for the ones that are driving. Be careful. Now, pay attention in the positions because this one is a little bit different from enough. When we use to, first I need the word to, and then I need the adjective. Okay, look, too hot. First, I have the word to, and then the adjective hot. So if you say, for example, is hot to, no, the meaning changes, okay? I was driving too fast or I was driving fast to, no. If you write the word to at the end, the meaning of the sentences changes. Is it clear, everyone? Yes? Yes, yes. teacher, it's clear. <clears throat> nice. And go back into enough. You already know the structure. First is the adjective, and then is the word enough. Is it clear the difference between two and enough? Yes? ¿Se entiende la diferencia, everyone? Yes. Okay, I hope so, I hope so. Let's do a practice. I have here some sentences and we are going to decide if it is going to be with enough or in negative, not enough, or if we are going to use to. I'm going to open the exercise. Give me a second. Let me check. Can you see what I'm sharing right now? Or no yet? No yet. No, no yet. Yeah. I don't share. Can you see it? Okay. No? Yes? Ah, okay. What, what? Excellent. Okay, look at the first picture. So Alan is, and then I have the word old. What will be the correct sentence? Alan is enough old to vote or Alan is not enough all to vote or Alan is too old to vote. What do you think? Not enough, teacher. Not enough old? Mm, I think. Everybody, what do you think? No. No. So mm. what is the correct one? It's all enough. Old enough. Look at the picture. Can mm -hmm. he vote? Yes or no? Yes. In this case, he can vote. So we can say Alan is enough old to vote. Very good. How about the next one? Look at the picture. Teacher, sorry, but in negative is, is right or not? If I you mean, say... if you say not enough, it's correct oh. too. Yeah, in this case, we are going to use the sentence in affirmative because of the picture. Look, él está votando, right? So we can say, yeah, he is enough old. But remember, oops, in this case, we got to say old enough. Sorry, that is the one. First is the adjective, then is the word enough. Now, what happens in the next sentence? Look at the picture. This box is... What do you think? Too heavy. heavy. Too heavy. It's, ah, very good. Too yeah. heavy to carry. That means it is not possible, right? Too heavy. Okay, look at the next picture. What happens here? Enough warm. Enough warm? Yeah. 
you or say war, war, war enough. enough. Uh -huh. War enough. Warm True. I don't like enough. the weather in winter. It is no war enough. Warm enough. Very good. Okay, let's move on. My brother didn't fail the exam because he is. What do you Enough. think? Enough. Too intelligent. <laughs> Too intelligent. Too intelligent. Too intelligent. Too intelligent. intelligent. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he didn't fail the exam because he's too intelligent. Can I say he is intelligent enough? Yes or no? Yes. Mm, yes. Maybe. Actually, yeah, Could right? Be. It makes sense too. So too intelligent or intelligent enough. Both are correct. Okay, number five, what will be the sentence? Look at the picture. Tight enough. Mm, tight enough. Everyone, do you agree? Yes, tight enough. Do you have other pants? These ones aren't tight enough for me. Very good. Sounds good. Number six, what do you think? What will be the complete sentence? Too house. small. <laughs> okay. I live in a new house because my house is too small for six people. Too do small, you... oh, right. Uh -huh. Very good. That is the correct one. Number six, what do you think? Too big. <laughs> my backpack is too big. I can fit all my books. Okay. Too big. Um, okay, isn't too big. Hmm. Do you agree, everybody? Could be. No. Could be. Um, uh, big enough. Big enough. Big, big enough too. That is the one. Okay, this is something that I want you to keep in mind. If we use to, remember the meaning. This is like more than what we huh? need. Okay. Be careful with the microphones. So when we use to, like in Spanish, we say demasiado. So when you have demasiado de algo, in a way that is kind of negative. Yes or no? Yes. So imagine if you have, it is too hot. Does it sound positive or negative? Negative. It's negative. So in English, remember, we cannot have two negative words in one sentence. So you have, if I have negative mm -hmm. here, could I say two here? Yes or no? It's negative, negative. Exactly. And, this, and, that, and that sentence. Correct. I have negative here and mm -hmm. I have two as a negative right? So mm -mm, negative and negative, mm -hmm. not really. That's why we are going to say big enough. Very good. Okay, number eight. What do you think? What will be the sentence? Mrs. Level are too long for me. Too long for me. Ah, very good. These sleeves are too sleeves. long. Very good. What is the meaning of sleeves? <laughs> La manga. Correct. <laughs> that is the one. That is the one. Okay, number nine. Jorge isn't. He's saying tall enough to play basketball. All right. That is the one. Very good job. Number 10. Hmm, what will be the sentence here? I don't have time and this exam is too difficult. Very good. It's too difficult. Excellent. And the last or difficult one. Difficult enough? No. 
all right, I don't have time and this exam is too difficult or I don't have time and this exam is difficult enough. Remember, if you use enough, it's because it's necessary what you have. ¿Es lo suficientemente difícil o es demasiado difícil? What do you think? Mm, demasiado. Exactly. Que... So mm -hmm, it will be too difficult. Okay, mm -hmm. the last one. This car is too fast to win the race. Too fast to win the race. Do you agree, everybody? Or do you think that this car is fast, fast enough? enough? Fast enough. Actually, that sounds fast better. Fast enough. Fast enough. That is the one. So if you want to win the uh, race, hmm, this car is fast enough exactly fast enough to win mm -hmm. so everybody exactly is it clear the difference between two and enough everybody yes it is clear teacher very good. And the rest, everybody? Yes, I clear. It's clear, but I need to practice. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. I have prepared so much practice for you today, but everybody practice, please. Let's have another exercise. Okay. The idea is, remember, identify when you need to, when do you need enough. And don't forget, of course, the structure. Okay, let's have another exercise. I have some sentences here and I have the adjective. You have to decide if you are going to use to or if you are going to use enough, okay? For example, well, let me open up the exercise. Imagine in the number one says, this box is, what do you think? Too heavy or heavy enough? to leave, what would be better? Mm -hmm. what's, what's meaning lift? Lift is when you take an object and put it up, lift. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Heavy? He too heavy. <laughs> okay, too heavy. Do you agree everybody? Yes, okay. Yes, I agree. So this box is too heavy to lift. Yes, actually that is correct. Now, this is what we are going to do. I'm going to ask one by one and you have to answer these sentences. Let me see the people that is not listener. For example, this sentence will be for Ivan. This sentence will be for Jamie. This one, it will be for Carlos. I think he's not listener. Uh, Fatima. This one is for Hector. Who else is not listener? Isabel. And this one is for, well, Magdaleno. Okay, everyone. The others, no worries. I have more sentences for you. But first, these ones. Let me know when you're ready. Complete the sentence. You have to decide if it is going to be two or if it is going to be with enough. Magdalena, are you ready? Okay. Yes, I am already. Okay. Tell me your sentence, please. Uh huh. Emma is lazy or is lazy? Lazy. 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 Okay. Emma is too lazy to clean her room. All right, Emma is too lazy. Mm, sounds good, very good, very good. Uh-huh, who else is ready? I'm ready. I'm okay, ready. 
Okay, Fatima first, go ahead. He isn't responsible enough to take care of small children. Okay, Res oops. responsible enough to take care of small children. Actually, that is correct. Very good, very good. Okay, Jamie? This take is too difficult for me. I can't solve it. Um, I couldn't hear you very well. Can you repeat, please? This taste Task. is too difficult. Ah. is too difficult for me. I can solve it. Very good. That's correct. Excellent. Uh huh. Ivan, Carlos, Hector, Isabel. Me, 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 me. Okay, Ivan, go ahead. Leah is rich enough to buy this sport car. Okay, very good, very good. Uh -huh. Who else? Carlos, Hector, Isabel? Teacher? Yes, Teacher? Hector, go ahead. It's cool and out outside. I already stayed at home. Okay, it's cold enough outside. I'd rather stay at home. Hmm. What do you think, everybody? In my opinion, it's too. It's too. It's too cold. I think. Actually, that is much better, right? It's too cold because look at the next sentence. He said that he prefers to stay at home. So that means that it's too. It's too much, right? So it's too cold outside. Okay, who's next, Carlos or Isabel? Me, oh. teacher. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Um, this sweater is in warm enough. Please give me another one. Warm enough. Actually, yes, that is a correct one. Nice job, nice job. Carlos, do you have your sentence? No. Yes? Hello. Hello. Okay. I am mm -hmm. uh, going to the communicator with nice speakers. Okay. So what is what is the sentence? Too fluent or fluent enough? Fluent enough. All right. Okay. Actually, yeah. Yes, that is the correct sentence. Very good job. So I am fluent enough to communicate with native speakers. So everybody, this is the sentence that you have to say every day. Hey, I am fluent enough to speak in English. All right. Very good. Now, I have some people who haven't participated. Let's see. The next sentence is for Mirna. And who else is not listener? Oh my gosh, what happens is that everybody is listening. Oh, I had Oscar. I had Rosalina. And only that one, the rest are listeners. Okay, go ahead, everyone. Let me know when you're ready. Um, Erika, are you a listener or can you participate? I'm sorry? Yes, I can participate. Ah, oh, perfect. I will give you a sentence. Teacher, okay. Yes. What is what is pronunciation? The words timid, shy, shy or shy, or shy. shy. What? What is the description of shy, resplandor? Oh, what I happens? Confuse. is uh -huh, is the letter N in in resplandor or brillar is shine so you have the n sound and yeah, shine, shine and in this one is just shy shy, shine, shine, mm -hmm. shine. that is the difference mm -hmm. okay thank you you're welcome okay uh, mirna oscar rosalina or erica let me know when you're ready i'm ready perfect what will be your sentence lady lady isn't all in all get married Old enough to get married. Yeah, very good sentence. Very good. Old enough. Next one. Who's ready? 
me to share? Yes, go <laughs> maybe, ahead. Maybe. I am uh, shy enough to start a conversation with someone. I don't know. Okay, what do you think, everybody? Do you agree? Maybe it's too shy. <laughs> so imagine, think about... Because it. the, the start a conversation is negative. Is a negative... Uh, is uh, is some is is a negative uh, uh, characteristic that people have. Ah. For example, it's too. Oh, sorry, so, it's too, too shy. Too, too exactly, shy. that is the one, and that is the analysis, Mirna. Mm. Very good job. Remember, if yes, you but use... I am confused. Sorry, teacher, <laughs> but I am confused because I try to 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 do but it's very confused when you when you think in that the the the, the analysis that the, I know. Yeah, an analysis the, but sorry. you get you you get to the correct answer so remember everyone when we use to is because the meaning is negative so if you say too shy that's negative right so ah uh, i am too shy to start a conversation if you use enough, it's not necessarily in negative, right? If you say, I am shy enough, mm, that doesn't sound like negative. So that is what you have to consider when you are going to use to or when you are going to use enough. Okay, we got Oscar and Erica. Let me know when you're ready, everyone. Okay, yes, go ahead. Daniel, Daniel is sure to play basketball. Okay, too short or short enough? Short enough. Okay. So Daniel is short enough to play basketball. To play basketball. So do you think that can we say short enough or too short? What too do you think? Too short. Actually, in this case, it will be better if we use to, because again, in this case is negative. If you play basketball, do you have to be sure or do you have to oh, be tall? People are tall. Actually, it is necessary to be tall. So if you say short enough, not really, right? We have to use to short. And Sounds. the last one. Erica? Some way uh, the jumping, <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. the jumping for a for a care to get the, the uh, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> All right, Erica, what will be your sentence? This book is too boring to read. Too boring to read. Actually, that makes sense. Very good. If a book is boring you don't want to read it right so too boring so if you see everyone the aspects that you have to keep in mind when you use to if that is negative the meaning if you are going to use enough it's not necessarily like a negative meaning and remember first is the adjective and then is the word enough clear everybody Yes. Okay, uh, I I I understand. Uh, you said two, not necessarily the sentences is uh, in negative. The expression uh, many uh, negative uh, uh, se usa two, right? Exactly. Look, in the case of two, as your classmate said, the sentence is not necessary in negative. The meaning is negative. Because remember, if I say, for example, Emma, and I want to write here, Emma is not too lazy. What happens here is I have negative and negative. So we cannot have two negatives in the same sentence. That's why when we use to, the, the sentence is not necessary in negative, but the meaning is negative. Yes, is it clear? Mm -hmm. I got it. Okay, any other question that you may have everybody? No questions, are you sure? 
Okay, if you don't have questions, I do, okay? It's time to practice speaking. I have here some questions and I wanted to discuss with your classmates. We are going to use enough or to. For example, look at the first question. When do you think people are old enough to get married? Huh. Can they marry at 16? What do you think, everybody? No, to, to John. No. <laughs> Never is enough. It's, it's too... Never is it's enough, my <laughs> and, and the other country is normal. How Which about country? <laughs> <laughs> this country, no. Maybe no, in El Salvador. No. <laughs> what happens? What happens is that here in El Salvador they don't get married; they just get together, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but so what would be an age that you consider that people are ready enough to get married? Twenty-five. Twenty-five years old. The uh -huh. What do you say, uh, Maduro? Uh, mature? Mature. Or mature, I'm sorry, that's pronunciation, mature. Uh, depending on mature the people. How mature people. they are? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? Another I opinion? Think at, at, I think at, at 25, the people usually finish their career, like, um, uh, but, um, they are studies at university. They finish their studies exactly at the college and, and at the university. And okay. probably do you, you start at work. So at that age, maybe they could be ready to get married. Yes. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Any other idea? How about I, at I eighteen? <laughs> uh huh. Tell me. My opinion when you when you feel that you are ready for this stage because it's important the 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 age the the studies or the the stables in 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 your life. I think, but depend okay. that, depend on that. that. <laughs> Well, remember that there are some teenagers that they say that at 18, they are ready, imagine, but. No, no, <laughs> no they are not. They, they are, are definitely not. not, right? Very good, very good. Okay, I'm going to send the questions on WhatsApp's group and we are going to discuss these questions. Remember everybody, the idea is to use these specific sentences to or enough. If you are going to use enough, remember the adjective goes first. I don't want you to speak in Spanish, please. So everybody, let's talk full English. Um, let's see, I have a lot of listeners, so I'm trying to move the teams in a way that everybody participates. If you are in a group that you are alone or nobody is participating, let me know so I will switch you to another team. Let's see, let me check. I think. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, give me a second. I'm trying to fix the groups. Okay, everybody, let's go to practice the question. Zero Spanish, please, and practice the structure. Let's go. Everybody, enter to the breaking rooms, please. Everybody, enter to the breaking rooms. Yeah, my my head. <laughs> Hi, Isabel. 
Hi. How are you? Um, I am a little tired. Tired. <laughs> tired. <laughs> it's Friday. Too. Yes. <laughs> yes. So today is Friday, yes. and the body. <laughs> and know. the body knows. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, the first question say, when do you think people are old enough to get married? Can they marry at 16? 16. <laughs> what do you think, Fatima? I think um, Tom, Tom has age for the love. <laughs> for the love okay the love. <laughs> good point <laughs> yeah but that's 16 that you, you do you think no that is... no 16 no yes. no is the age for a, a Mary yes um, it's, it's a teenager maybe yes uh, and... for the low yes <laughs> the low yes, yes. The Mary yeah. no. Yeah, no. Yes. Okay. I, I agree with you. Don't. Uh, he can get a boyfriend but not get married. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. And you, Isabel, 16 is. is a it is. Yes. <laughs> or doesn't matter. It's too young for the married. Yes. Yes, because I think that in this stage you have to prepare for for life. For you have to 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 live with other person, and you have to know the person because it's the the convivence is not easy. I I think, in my opinion, but but this yeah, thing yes. I think that you are not uh, your may is not so clear. It's not completely complete. complete Mature, <laughs> mature, mature, mature at this, at this age, yes, is in my opinion too. And the yes. second, the second is what age is old and enough to have kids? Oh. <laughs> I think is uh, thirty five. Thirty five, okay. 35. Because because I think it's, it um, are problems. Yes. For, yes. For how keep. Yes, I agree with you because in my case, I'm going to put my case because I, I my my first son I was a uh, 36 years old when I have 36 years old, and um, I I was my first son, but is. It's very difficult because you 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 uh, you you. No problem. Mm -hmm. What age is old enough to have kids? After twenty five years, for me. <laughs> twenty five years. Before before no. Uh, before in before. the in the case in the case the woman is is good uh, age. Yeah, in because the case, uh, in we the have case already. The if in the year forties, is is has a big problem to, I, to give a yeah. child, no. But for uh -huh. me, no. oh, in the year seventy, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but for us, no. <laughs> in the case the 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 men's uh, anybody, <laughs> the, 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 uh, the miss crying right now because. <laughs> He knows that the problem. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> it's because I'm whatever. laughing. I'm laughing because men can have kids anytime, but we no. can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, anytime, anytime. With, with some help, he 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 can. Yeah, you know. Yes, I I know. I know people. The, the blue I know people the, the sixteen years, uh, uh, his hand, his have uh, kids. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, uh, in the case of woman, uh, it's a difference. That's true. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Because it's you, macho alpha. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So Jamie, what do you think about it? I believe that it's true that the the men's BS is more old that they they can have kids. But she but they they have to to all the kids. Uh, they probably they they are aren't going to be their team yeah. in the university. <laughs> you need to turn on the microphone, Miss. I'm sorry, my bad. Now I was saying that that's true. If they had kids too old, they won't be with their kids <laughs> enough time. So mm -hmm. that's true. That's true. Okay, it's interesting. Care for the health for look at grow up the kids. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Okay, oh, continue, please. Excuse me, Miss. We have a, a, a problem with uh, make a sentences. In, for example, when say, do you think people are all you know get married? Hi, man, say, uh, he married in 19 years old. So he got married when he was 19 yeah, years he, old. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow, you are so brave. <laughs> but say, <laughs> but say, no. No, 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 the, no. The, the problem, the the problem is, uh, exactly. The, uh, uh -huh. the, no, no, it's no funcionó. No, ¿Cómo es? It's working. Yeah, no working. I say no working. Didn't working. work. 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 Didn't work. Didn't work. Didn't work. That's it. Didn't work. But if if uh, I say many many years is a no get married, it's correct. Repeat again. Oh, um, I uh, we think any five years. Is a no to get married? Is covered or no? Okay, if you say any years, that means cualquier año. It could be 2020, 2025. You are talking about years. So no. the correct sentence must be any age because uh, any, age any is age. edad. So uh, okay. any age is correct or is old enough to have uh, to get married or to have kids but old age and... uh -huh. <laughs> excuse me could you repeat the sentences yes you can say any age mm -hmm. is old enough to get married okay okay mm -hmm. but okay. age the word age. is age yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, continue, please. Yes. And remember, I want to everybody participate. So, yes, okay. go ahead. Yes, sorry, sorry. Okay, Jamie. Okay. The second one. I'm going to read. Read the second one, please. Okay. I'm doing. The, the number three. Believe me, believe me, I don't have any more. If I <laughs> knew these things, what what means have children, I've never I never have been have been a father. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. It's not for me. <laughs> it's not for all, all kind of people. And you need to have <laughs> like a, a teacher. What is the correct name or what is the word uh, in English for vocation? Vocation. You can say um, vocation. Vocation or desire, vocation or desire. desire. 
or desire. born or desire as desear, like como el deseo, so vocation or desire. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, the people have the vocation. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact. <laughs> yes. But what, what are the other questions? Vacation. Uh, ah, you need vacation. Action. Yes, me too. It's vacation, no vocation. <laughs> ah, vacation. Yes, I need a vacation. <laughs> Sorry, money never you. is enough. The money <laughs> never is enough. If you have more money, you have more bills. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Money never is never is enough. Mm -hmm. I agree. Wow, good point. <laughs> Lucy, what do you think? How much is too much money? Or money is never enough? Yeah, it's never enough. <laughs> because um, if you have more money, you have to more um, <laughs> bills to pay it or more. Um, I don't know what is the correct word. Más deuda. <laughs> yes. Okay, deudas is like debts. Okay. Debts. Mm -hmm. Debts. Debts. Oh. That. Okay. Is that money? It's just the money. You have to enjoy your money. It's just that. The money is the pass for pay something. It's not the, the happiness because they don't have uh, some things. Yeah, okay, the, with you you can have money. Uh, a post on, on Facebook. You you can have money. You if you if you have money, you don't you cannot pay for a friend. A friend you cannot pay for for uh, I don't know for a wife for your love. You can pay some things. But the the things what are um, what are important you don't pay with money. For the little moments of the life. All the time money. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have money. Okay. Teacher, um Teacher, I, don't, <laughs> uh -huh. I, I never have enough enough money. Enough I, money. Okay, in this case, yes, I never have enough money. This is a topic that we are going to study next week when we come back from vacation. Okay. We have money. Money is not an adjective. Money is a noun. If we have a noun, it's the opposite. First, we say enough and then we say the money. So you can say, you know what? I never have enough money. Money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Continue, please. Bye. And the last one. Yes. Can you ever find you were too old to do something? Oh. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Tell us when. <laughs> no, I think that is in your mind. <laughs> the the age, guys, is just a number. <laughs> no, but a physical when you try to do something physical I, <laughs> I think that yes i think that if you don't have a a good condition physical condition you have a a little problem for example <laughs> yes yes because when you the the age is is not for 
it's not a number, but for example, in my case with my kids, they have a lot of energy and my age is not because <laughs> you, yes, because you have to work in outside in the, at home. And, and this is the problem that, that the, when you, when you have the, the kids, uh, uh, old age or, or an age. An uh, old age. Old yes, age. old mm -hmm. age. Yes, because the, the energy, the energy that the, the kids have is. Is different. Is, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's very, very uh, hard to me because they have a lot of energy all the time and I have, and I want to. <laughs> you want to sleep. <laughs> and I want to sleep, mm -hmm. yeah. And all I right. think that in this case, in this case, I think that, yes, you 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 feel that you were too old to do something, but in physical condition, All because right. in your okay. mind, no. <laughs> yes. Okay. How about you guys? What do you think? I Fatima? feel too old to have kids. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you right now? Very, very poor. And you feel old. Yes. Ah, no. come on. <laughs> <laughs> so no, come on. You you don't look old. You are not old. Okay. The medical uh, says the age for kills for having a kills is very five. So you have one year. You are in the, in the limit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are okay. No <laughs> yeah. yeah. So just just try to hurry up, but you can do it. <laughs> um, and, and do you want to have kids? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you have a year to think about it, okay? <laughs> All right. Yeah, you have a year. <laughs> yeah. Isabel, what about you? What do you think? Have you ever felt uh, you were too old to do something? No, for me, it's the age is a, it's a, just a number. Ah. Yes. The, the energy is in the, in the mind for me is. So young forever. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's yeah, the attitude. Mentality young. Uh -huh. yes. oh, yeah. I like I say that. teacher. I say teacher in my mind I can do it everything, <laughs> but when you have a kid, <laughs> it's a good, yeah. it's a good break. <laughs> that happens to me. I mean, sometimes, for example, today that is Friday and tomorrow I'm not going to work. I say, you know what? I'm going to watch movies and I'm going to sleep very late. No, 30 minutes later, I'm like, oh, I'm tired. I cannot do it anymore. So, yeah, that's true. But I like Isabel's attitude, everybody. Let's stay yeah. young forever. Yeah. Yes, yeah. is a number. Exactly. Is too. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah. I know that you finished the questions. I just need to check another team. So please continue practicing and then we go back to the main room. Okay? Thank you. Yeah. Very good. No. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. I don't understand this. The, the question number four. Do you think brand name products are too expensive? I don't know if you trying to ask you if the name is expensive. What or happens? Brand names products means those uh, products that have a very famous brand. For example, Samsung, Sony, or uh, Apple. The famous brand, mm. that is the meaning for brand names products. Are they too expensive or not? Mm. What do you think? No, not expensive. Maybe Sony. Mm -hmm. hmm. But we have a problem with the makeup answer. Okay, because of the time, I will let you to jump that questions. Let's move on to the next one because because mm -hmm. of the time. Okay, let's okay, move on okay. to the next question. Bye. Okay. 
Give me can you read it, please? The number five. Okay. okay. Give me. Do you have a healthy enough diet? Diet. Ah, thank you. Do you have a health enough diet? Diet. <laughs> Nah, you. <laughs> diet, diet. And health. Diet. Do you have mm -hmm. a healthy enough diet? Of course I am. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Only woman fit in the team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so explain me. Why do you think you have a healthy enough diet? <laughs> In my plate, in my food, I try to use different colors, different vegetables, mm -hmm. and to choose the the protein. Oh. One day it could be fish, oh. the next one could be meat. And but I, lady. In my, huh? <laughs> no, no, I just gonna lady. <laughs> <laughs> and and never eat pork. Oh yeah, me too. <laughs> me neither. That is a correct one. Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. All right. Sounds good. Uh huh. And the rest of you guys. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like uh -huh. diet. Diet. <laughs> diet. 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 <laughs> Excuse me. I forget the word. Diet, diet. Coke. Say diet. diet coke and don't forget the name. Diet Coke. Ivan is thinking on vacations already. That's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Vacation I, can see, I can see uh, on the beach and the, I can see on the mountain. And all, and all the unhealthy food, right? Yes. <laughs> unhealthy food. So, Jamie, what about you? Do you have a healthy enough diet? I believe I care my alimentary <laughs> i don't know if you say that uh, i i don't use my bread 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 with me candy nor carbohydrates mm. carbohydrates yeah carbohydrates i know it's too much so I try to eat fruit and protein. Yeah. I I don't I don't eat tortillas. Never. <laughs> oh wow, that sounds difficult. <laughs> Never. I don't like it. <laughs> no. Never? Okay. How how can you? And I like. <laughs> and sweet and I like, bread. But... No. Never. I. I I I can eat one per two weeks. Okay. <laughs> I one always day. I I just realized that I don't have a healthy diet. <laughs> 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 Definitely. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Rosalina, tell us how about you? No. I <laughs> <laughs> Definitely I no. I no. like it. No. No. <laughs> Okay. Not for me. Okay. So yeah. Not Jenny, but this is true. <laughs> <laughs> but I admire you, Erica and Jamie. I admire you. So you have a healthy diet. Sounds good. Yeah. I wish I had, but I can't. I love sweet bread with coffee. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. Very fresh. <laughs> and Oscar, uh, I can see Oscar is here. Oscar, how about you? Do you have a healthy diet? Oh, we have a ghost. Oh, he's not participating? Is listener? Yeah, I, I think. think. Ah, okay, okay. Well, everybody, eh, unfortunately, we don't have more time. I know that the questions and the talking practice is eh, interesting, but let's move on to the main room, okay? Let's go back. Okay. 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 Very good. Okay, time's up. Let's go back, everybody. Time's up, time's up. We are going to wait. Some of your classmates are still in the breaking rooms. Let's wait for them.
Time's up, everyone. Let's go back. Let's wait for your classmates. Okay, let's go back everyone. Aha, interesting answers. Tonight you were talkative. At the end of the class, you were talkative. I like that. How did you feel the practice? Easy, difficult, 50-50, what do you think? Wonderful. <laughs> nice, uh-huh. Very funny. Philosophic question, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Make, make the brand. Ah. He was he was inspired today. <laughs> what happens is that you are thinking on vacations, everyone, definitely. But listen. Yes, I was. <laughs> I know, I know. But listen, something really good. You were giving details. You were very talkative, all of you, I love it. That's what I need. I needed to talk, I needed to give details, okay? I know some of the difficult aspects that I can identify in the groups is the vocabulary, right? There are some words that we don't know how to say it in English and there is when we start to hesitate a little bit. So there are some words that I was listening in the groups. We are going to check them. But before that, I'm going to check attendance the last time. So when you listen to your names, say present. Carlos Abrego? Present. OK. Christian Alexander. OK, very good. Um, let's see, Erika Jasmine. Present. Very good. Fatima Denise. Present. Okay. Gabriel Beltran. Okay. Hector Francisco. Present. Very good. Isabel Hernandez. Present, Miss. Very good. Ivan Guzman. Present. Very good. Jamie Raquel. Present, teacher. Very good. Holman Giron. Very good. Um, Lucy Natalie. Present. Very good. Magdalena Escalante. Present teacher. Very good. Nelson Antonio. Very good. Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Pamela Molina. Oh, she's listener. Okay. Eh, Rosalina Alvarado. Present. Okay. Selvin Adonai. Okay. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Okay. In one minute, let's see some of the common mistakes that you had in the groups. Um, these are some of the words that I was listening in Spanish. For example, convivencia. How can I say that in English? Coexistence, you can say living or cohabitation. Cohabitation is not so common, actually. These two are the most common one, but you can say them, okay? Be careful with the plurals and the singulars. Man is in singular. The plural is men. So I listened to some of you saying men's. Can I say that? Never. No, that is wrong. Okay? Correct. Mm -hmm. Again, woman is in singular. Women is in plural. Can I say women's? Never. Mm. Okay, be careful. So be careful with the plurals, especially in these scenarios that are like the irregular names. Okay, um, more old. We already practice a little bit the comparatives, everyone. Can I say more old? 
Shoulder. Shoulder. Ah, very good. I will say older. I listen to this word in Spanish. The correct one is depth. 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 Okay. So, if you see everyone, uh, some of the main issues is basically some words in Spanish. Uh, be careful with the microphones, please. Is that, that is the main observation. So, every time that you discover a new word, dictionary, everyone. No se queden con la duda, please. Tampoco tratemos de adivinar, okay? So, be careful. Now, I know that you are tired, so we don't have more time. Listen to everyone. Please try to advance on the platform, the ones who hasn't finished. And the exam, we can take it on vacation if you want, because we already finished the topic that appears in the exam. Or you can wait until Monday, Tuesday, that we are going to see the last topics from the unit number two. Okay, now I know that you are tired, you are thinking on vacation, so today I'm not going to ask any of you to stay, okay? We will continue with this process until when we go back from vacation. Ahorita no les voy a pedir a nadie que se quede, so you can go and relax and sleep, okay? So work on the platform and finish it. Do you have any question before leaving? Yes, I have one. Uh, yes. We're going to receive a class this Monday and Wednesday, or just the whole week we're going to be in vacation? The full week. Basically, full week. Okay. I'm going to see you until Monday 10. Okay? okay. Yes, until okay, Monday 10. If you connect <laughs> the uh, next Monday, <laughs> I'm not going to be here. Okay? So, see you until Monday 10th. Any type of changes, I will tell you on WhatsApp group. But until now, the information is we will see you until Monday 10. Okay? okay. Excellent. Any other question Thank before you. leaving? No? That's it. I have... Thank you. <laughs> I heard someone. Yes? Yes. <clears throat> Go ahead. I have trouble with someone exercises on the platform. But oh. I will try again, and I, I, I message to you. Okay. Yes. Remember, everyone, if you have a question or if I know that there are some exercises that are difficult, especially the ones that where you need to type and write. So if you had issues, just send a screenshot, and I will help you with that. Okay. At the WhatsApp group, WhatsApp group, right? Yes. Please. Mm -hmm. Do it on okay. WhatsApp's group so I can help you. And if another class may have the same question, they will see the message. So it will help full for everyone. Okay. It, it will be helpful. Thank yes. you. Okay, everybody. Have a good holiday. Don't drink too much. And if you drink, don't drive. Be careful. Try to study English a little bit and see you next, next week. Okay? Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. I, I don't know. Anyone has another question? No? No. Teacher, no. Just, just a question. Yes, in tell a song, me. In a song, I, I see that, that, that word. What means? Don't you? Which one? In the chat, doncha. Doncha. Yes, in the song. Ah, okay. That could be the negative, the negative sentence. Um, the meaning mm, is depends on the context, <laughs> because remember that in this case it's just like a negative part. Doncha es como decir don you. That is like doncha. Don you. That could be one of the meanings. But again, it's going to depend on the context because this is a very informal phrase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, most of, uh -huh. but most <laughs> of the time it's just like, don't- do. I hear in the music, mean. maybe in the music, uh, in the song, perdón, I, I'm sorry, the but, <laughs> yeah, in the song I hear it. Uh -huh. Yeah, doncha. Mm. Yes, but some of the, most of the time, right? Doncha is just basically the meaning, don't you. That is basically the meaning. Solo están cambiando la pronunciación. En lugar de decir don't you, están diciendo don't ya. Don't ya. Mm -hmm. 
¿ya? Es como cuando yo les digo, sí, ya, es lo mismo. Es como decirles, sí, you, pero en lugar de you estoy diciendo, ya, yeah. so, sí, ya. So, that is the meaning. <laughs> yeah. Ok, so that's all Thank for you. tonight. Bye. See you guys. Bye. Thank you, you too. Bye -bye. Take care. Happy holiday, everybody. Thanks, you too. Bye-bye. Don't drink. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't drink and don't drive. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>